Og der er CFCT, vi lige nu med en snak med vores træner Colin Todd. Colin, a good second half in Herning, but a loss. What have you been telling the team afterwards? I mean, first of all, we... Um i thought the atmosphere in the dressing room before the Michelin game was very, very good, very positive. And and we started that way. You know, the first 10 minutes, um, we had uh, good opportunities to, to get our noses in front. We didn't take uh, the little half opportunities we had. And uh, we got punished from a set play where we're normally good. Um, then we conceded a penalty, which was a very dubious penalty. Um, but we have to accept that it was given. And, and we find ourselves 3-0 down at half-time, uh, which was very, very disappointing. But I um, had a chat at half-time, um, said that we have to go make sure that we play in their half. Two wide players push on, we full-backs push on, and make sure that um, the scoreline doesn't get any worse than 3-0, yeah. you know, and try to be positive. And to be fair, we we got a little bit of consolation out the game but uh, n- no satisfaction when when you're 3-0 down you know it's yeah. it's a mountain to climb yeah. but what seems to be our problem right now we get we are getting the chances um if i look at away from home our away from home uh, performances have been disappointing i mean we can go back to Wesberg where we lost 4-0 Horsens 1-0 uh, Michelin 3-0 uh, and it's something that i have spoke about um That we have to probably more have more uh, resolve, more resilience, mm. uh, be more difficult to beat as we were uh, going back in the winter. You know, yeah. um, the last time we won away from home was Sonny Yuska, where you know we had that resilience. And and I think yeah, you know, we just have to make sure that we keep doing the things uh, that we've been brought up to do. While I've been at this football club, not get away from the script. Um, and you know. We've got a home game now against Copenhagen, and uh, we have everything to play for. Um, and with uh, this our last home game, uh, we're in as good a position we could want to be in, um, you know. And we, we know what's at stake. If we win it, then it'll probably put us in a position where we're into Europe, you know, which, which is an important thing for this football club. But what I don't want to happen, uh, and this applies to to the players, to the whole football club is to find out that we've had a good season but find out that we have end up with nothing you know and that would be a disaster um but there's only ourselves can disappoint ourselves you know uh, and what i mean by that the players who go out there tomorrow have to show that aggression uh, i can remember the game we had against F- fc uh, copenhagen here yeah. and we did extremely well you know we we got among them that didn't look forward to that game and we have to make sure that Uh, FC Copenhagen coming here tomorrow don't enjoy it and I, I'm sure they'll not relish coming here provided we at it you know and you know what I mean by at it um, closing them down working them not giving them time to settle then when we have the ball making sure that we can we can hurt them yeah. why are Copenhagen the best team in Denmark as you see it I think they've always had that reputation They've always been known as a big club. I think even in England, people recognise them. Um, and I think I've said it to you before, but we, not only us, but I think teams in in Denmark have to try to uh, get up to their standard yeah. if possible. I mean, obviously they've got good support. They've spent a lot of money on players. They've earned the right to get there. But I'm just saying that um, if clubs want to make progress, they have to have a look at uh, what FC uh, Copenhagen are doing. And, and you know, that's the standard they've set. We have to try to match that standard, if possible. Yeah. And the medicine to beat them is uh, to stress them. Yeah, to to make sure that coming here, they're not going to have an easy time. You know, they're not going to enjoy it. Uh, we have to make sure that we put one or two of them on the backside without getting booted. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Colin, Thank and good you. luck. Thank you. Anders FC TV har fanget målmand David Osted. David, hvad har I brugt tiden på efter nederlaget i Herning? Nå, vi har kommet, øh, brugt tiden på at komme os lidt øh, over nederlaget, øh, pleje os lidt mentalt og komme ovenpå igen. Hvad er det, der kan og skal laves om mod FCK, som du ser det? 
engagementet, viljen og, og de, øh, de ekstra meter, vi skal løbe, øh, det, det, det er noget, vi skal bringe, øh, bringe ind i kamp i morgen. Øh, det, det er vigtigt for, at vi kan, kan få et godt resultat. Men viljen var der jo alligevel mod Midtjylland. Jeg synes ikke, jeg savnede tænding som sådan. Hvad var det, der manglede? Ah, vi manglede noget nærkampstyrke, noget som vi normalt øh, er gode til at have på det her hold. Det manglede vi, og vi manglede at løbe de ekstra meter fra hinanden. Det skal vi have fundet frem igen. Altså en fjerdeplads og europæisk fodbold kan I sikre jer med tre point mod uh, FCK. Hvad er det for et hold, der kommer? Jamen, øh, det er et dygtigt hold. Øh, selvom de har vundet mesterskabet, øh, er det nogle rigtig dygtige spillere. Næsten lige meget, hvem de sætter på banen. Øh, så øh, det er et dygtigt teknisk hold, men forhåbentlig også et hold, der, der har spillet øh, sin Superliga færdig. Og, og det skal man gerne kunne se i kampen med, at det, det er os, der har noget at spille for. Altså, man kunne godt tro, at Esbjerg har vækket en slummerne bjørn, der gerne viser sig frem igen med en sejr. Hvor stor er troen på det her, det kan lade sig gøre? Jamen, den er enormt stor. Det skal den være. Vi er hjemme på Autos Park her, og vi skal komme ud med, med 100 timer og prøve at sætte, sætte os på dem. Jeg er næsten ligeglad, hvem der kommer på Autos Park. Vi skal kunne, prøve, kunne dominere her. Og en lille bønd til det randesianske publikum. Jamen, kom, kom, kom. Øh, vi vil gerne se rigtig mange på stadion, og så håber vi at lave noget underholdende fodbold og øh, et øh, godt resultat. Super. Tak.